Hello everyone. This morning I'm at a new job site here. It's a beautiful acres property with a house, a shop, and our job today is to connect the main service. So we're going to have a meter on the shop, we're going to have a main panel inside the shop, and we're going to have a sub panel in the house. I want to take you through the process of wiring up the meter and the both panels. Um, all of these, I mean, here in Alberta, Canada, I've got my own rules that I need to follow here for local electrical codes. Uh, they may not apply uh, to wherever you are, but I believe the principle is the same. So I'm going to follow my local rules and I'll show you how to wire it up. I want to give you a good general idea of what the job looks like. So over here, we've got the power pole. Uh, we've got the cable going underground from the power pole to the shop over there in the back and then you got another cable going from that shop to the house right now this is the main cable that's going to be connected uh, by the utility company up to that transformer over there once once we're complete on our end we'll call them and they're going to come and do that portion of it so here's what we're working with on the shop end this cable coming in right here this is coming underground from that power pole that I just showed you to the shop here. This is our feed. And this is the ground wire. There's a ground plate buried underground. And this cable is the one, this is basically a branch circuit. It's going to feed our uh, panel inside the house, our sub panel. So this will go up to the meter right over here. From the back of the meter, we're going to feed our main panel inside of this shop. And then this other cable will go on a breaker inside the main panel and feed the house. And you can see the cable right over there, the other. I had to wrestle to get this four out cable into this two and a half inch LB, but it's hard, but the key is to keep kind of twisting your wire like this to give it like that perfect angle so that it'll kind of come into here. So I got my cable in here into this two and a half inch LB. Next step, I'm going to secure it, put a strap, secure this to the wall so it doesn't move. And then I'll put some duct seal just around the edges over here just to prevent moisture from, from getting in right around here. So the next thing I'm going to do is get this main cable into the meter socket, but I need to get this, uh, weatherproof tech connector onto it so what I've done here is I've marked the bottom of my meter socket and then I'm just gonna make a few more marks I'm gonna put the connector up where it's gonna go and then I made another mark at the bottom here this is approximately where I want this rubber jacket to go it it should be you know slightly inside the connector and then I made another mark a little bit higher up and that's where I want my metal armor of this cable to be because that metal armor needs to make contact. I don't know if you can see it, but there's little teeth in here kind of sticking out. And that metal armor needs to make contact with those. So that's why I'm going to strip the metal a little bit different than I do the rubber. So you can see I strip my rubber jacket. Basically just a small section of it, maybe eight inches or so. I don't, know. I don't really need any more than that. And then I'm going to cut my armor just about where this line is. I'm going to cut the armor here. And then I'm just going to take this and just kind of twist it off until it comes off. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've got my rubber trimmed to where I wanted it. I've got my metal armor trimmed to where I want it. And then when I slide the tech connector over top, the tech connector is pretty much where the bottom of my meter will be. And that's where I want it. And then the teeth are grabbing or making contact with the metal armor right about here and then some of this rubber is up where it needs to be i'm not finished with this yet because i just put i'm not going to tighten this connector yet because what i want to do is you can see the pipe over here so i want to cover more of this cable with pipe uh, basically for a little bit of extra protection uh, because it's kind of down low but also for for aesthetics for looks too right so I'm going to put another sleeve of pipe over top of this one and almost up to the connector, maybe a couple inches down from this connector. 
because I also need a little bit of space for a, for a clamp so I can clamp this securely to the wall. One thing that I just did off camera is uh, this ground wire was inside of that same conduit where my main cable is, as you probably saw uh, just previously. And that was making a problem for me because I, I needed to uh, to come in on a separate conduit or or just something else. But this was this was pre-installed when I got here uh, by the builder. So I, I assumed this pipe was, you know, a full length, 10 feet going into the ground, but it wasn't. So I was able to pull it out and uh, separate that ground wire. So that's what I did. So now you don't see it in that same conduit. It makes it easier for me to work with now. So I'm just getting my meter socket ready. I need to get that main cable into the socket and then I want to come out the back of it to the panel. But I got to be concerned about studs and everything in the way, so I'm just planning it out. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. This is all still kind of loose. It's not uh, not fully secured yet, but I sleeve this piece of pipe for a little bit of extra protection and looks. I left a little bit of space here. I'm going to put some uh, deep strut back here with a clamp right here to s secure this. And then I've got the connector coming in. I've, I drilled a hole in the plywood behind here. And I put this 90, it's a, it's like a BX kind of 90 connector. Uh, I've secured this with a lock nut, you know, just temporary for now. And something else I did was I took that ground wire and I sleeved it through this pipe and into the shop here. And that's going to enter the, the main panel for grounding. Just because I don't have a separate conduit for it, so I just put it inside of this conduit because it should be protected. Okay, so I have the panel installed here. This is the main panel. Um, this cable is coming from the back of the meter socket. And this goes into the line side of my panel. This is what's bringing the power in. That's the main breaker. And then this other cable down here is what goes from this panel to the sub-panel in the house. All right, so the connections are made on the meter socket and panel end. I just wanted to quickly review everything before I close it up. So, as you can see, I got this all strapped up here like I said I would. I've got the cable coming in. This is the line side, so this is coming from the power pole. And I've got this ground bushing here so that we can uh, bond our armor and everything. It's all connected in the meter socket where it needs to go. And then I got the two hots, the red and the black, it doesn't matter which side they're on, you can flip them around, doesn't matter. And then the third uh, cable, uh, the third wire in this cable is blue. So to indicate that this is actually my white, I put some white tape around it. And then on the other end in the back of this meter socket, we've got the load side which goes to the panel. And same thing with the connections here, I got the tape on the white, the two hots are in the bottom. So the meter actually says line and load on this side, so you know which one goes where. On the panel side here, so this is coming from the back of the meter again. And this cable is pretty thick, so it doesn't flex very well. So I had to kind of make this loop over here and uh, come into the top of the panel, into the line side of the panel. So pretty much the same thing. I've got my red and my black. Again, doesn't matter which side is red, which one's black. And then I've got my white neutral. And I've also got the ground wire that came in from that LB outside. I got the ground wire coming in and grounding my panel. And then at the bottom, this cable here is pretty much my... Uh, this is just a cable that goes from here to the house, feeding the sub-panel in the house. So this is what goes to the LB outside. And I'll just close everything up here. There we have it, the meter socket is all installed, closed up, ready for energizing. And the panel is all complete, covers on, same thing, ready for energizing.